सो हियर बेटा आवर टूडेज टॉपिक दैट इज फीचर्स ऑफ वेव्स ओके एज यूजल दैट इफ आई वुड लाइक टू टेन यू अबाउट वेव्स वेव्स दैट मीन्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एम्पलीट्यूड फ्रिक्वेंसी वेव लेंथ एंड पीरियड मीन्स आई मीन टू से दैट फीचर्स ऑफ वेव दैट इज योर टॉपिक इन दिस टॉपिक दैट वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द वेव्स देयर एम्पलीट्यूड्स फ्रिक्वेंसी वेव लेंथ एंड टाइम पीरियड ओके सो दैट मीन्स हियर वन वन मोर इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट विच यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट फर्स्टली वॉट्स आर वेव्स वेव्स यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड इन दिस वे दैट मीन्स द ट्रांसफरिंग ऑफ एनर्जी ओके ट्रांसफरिंग ऑफ एनर्जी और एनर्जी पार्टिकल्स ओके फ्रॉम वन पॉइंट टू अनदर पॉइंट दैट इज योर वेव ओके so here they are saying that amplitude amplitude that means the maximum displacement suppose that if you would like to take simple pendulum okay we yeah let me open my graphic tablet so that i can explain you that give me one second yeah so basically here with a simple simple pendulum you can take example in simple pendulum as usual if you would like to see that uh, we would like to take a thread and a bob okay so suppose that bob is here and there is a thread thread you can uh, draw that by this way okay so if the thread and bob that is at in this position so this position is known as mean position okay it is known as mean position mean position so that means first one is your amplitude amplitude that means suppose that if you will apply a force on either side of the bob and how much it would like to displace okay how much it it would like to displace on either side that is your amplitude okay wait i am i am showing you that what i mean so here you can see that a little bit uh, dot over there and also you can see that suppose that your bob is are you seeing that a dotted a uh, bob and a dotted thread over there yeah so yeah i miss i i did that a little bit miss in a very very uh, dotted that's why that you will be able to understand and yes let, let let me a little bit darken that one yes a little bit i am darkening that yes now you are able to see a little bit more easily yeah so here i mean to say that here the maximum displacement on either side of a bob okay that means from here to here from mean position to maximum here okay that is your amplitude okay amplitude understand and basically that it is your amplitude next one so amplitude definition also that i have to write over there amplitude wait by white color it will be much convenient for you to understand first one is your like amplitude amplitude so that means the maximum distance maximum distance distance on either side side of mean position okay mean position that is your amplitude understand second yeah secondly what is frequency frequency that means the number of oscillation per unit time that is known as frequency okay yeah the number of oscillation 
per unit time that means it is your frequency that means how many times that bob is moving with respect to and fro that is your frequency clear yeah secondly now most important thing that what is oscillation oscillation that means the to and fro motion of bob that is known as oscillation okay to yeah to and fro motion to and fro motion beta that means uh, uh, with respect to mean position left and right okay so you can also understand over here yeah so suppose that uh, right hand side that your bob will be just like as in this position yeah so that's what i am showing you yes so from left and right so that means to and fro motion to and fro motion you can also understand in this way like firstly it would like to go on left hand side then right hand side and again then it will come to its initial position or mean position clear so this yeah this type of motion that is your oscillation okay yeah oscillation so basically that now you understand oscillation frequency i am also telling you that means the number of oscillation per unit time that is known as oscillation clear yeah then time period or period they are saying time period or period that means the time taken to complete one oscillation that is known as time period okay yeah time period time period that means time taken time taken to complete complete one oscillation okay yeah that is your time period and it is defined by symbol capital t beta okay time period that can be defined by symbol capital t do you understand that yeah always remember that here is a one other uh, term that is given here that is diffraction okay diffraction means what diffraction that means separation okay yeah separation of waves so when they would like to pass through a gap okay separation of wave okay or spreading out of wave okay separation i am saying that means there uh, there will be a little bit uh, gap between them okay so either you can say that uh, separation or either you can say that spreading spreading out of waves when they pass through a gap that is known as your diffraction understand yeah let me refresh that so that uh, i can scroll down over there yeah so here yes so here that beta first topic that you are seeing on your screen that is your energy transfer and waves actually energy transfer that concept as usual you know that okay energy transfer that means uh, you know that energy requires medium through which that it would like to transfer from one point to another point so here you are seeing that waves are vibration yeah waves that's are the type of vibration okay that transfer energy from place to place or point to point okay without matter being transfer okay without matter matter means either solid liquid or gas okay that means matter will not transfer but vibrations that means it will be it will transfer energy from one point to another point clear okay next is next is yeah suppose that uh, they are saying that you can also think about that suppose that think a mexican wave in a football crowd okay so that means uh, the wave moves around the stadium okay while each uh, yeah while each spectator that stays in their seat okay only moving up 
then down when it is it's it is their turn okay so yeah basically that is there are so as usual that do you understand clearly the wave beta yeah some waves that must travel through the substance okay the substance that is also known as medium as usual that i am telling you that wave is the type of transferring of energy from one point to another point okay so 100% that it requires medium so when it will require medium okay when it will require medium so that means uh, sound waves yeah there are many type of waves like sound waves are type of seismic waves okay so as i am telling you seismic waves so seismic waves that means shock waves that would like to travel through the earth okay shock waves that would like to travel through the earth usually caused by an earthquake okay that is your seismic wave clear yeah so they must travel through a medium and it is the medium that vibrates as the waves travel through clear there are also other type of waves which do not require any medium or substance okay so that means or you can say that they may be able to travel through a medium but they do not have to okay for example you can take like visible light okay infrared rays microwaves and other type of electromagnetic radiation okay radiation also you know that radiation that means transferring of uh, energy or transferring of waves from one to other one point to another point so here that beta i am talking about infrared ray infrared infrared that means you can understand that means the radiation which transfer heat energy okay understand so that means part of electromagnetic spectrum with a longer wavelength than light waves but a shorter wavelength than radio waves that is known as infrared rays okay great next one microwaves i am telling you so microwaves you can also understand that means electromagnetic radiation with a frequency between that of visible light and radio waves okay visible light that means indirectly they are talking about uh, spectrum beta vibgyor violet indigo blue green yellow orange red okay understand yeah and uh, now most important that electromagnetic radiation electromagnetic radiation that means transferring of energy or energy traveling as waves in the form of changing electrical and magnetic field okay that is electromagnetic radiation understand beta they can travel through the empty space yeah electromagnetic radiation that means it would like to travel through empty space okay electrical and magnetic field vibrate as the wave would like to travel through them okay do you understand that great so next topic that is your wave feature so wave feature beta so basically you can see that uh, as i explained that to you amplitude so amplitude you are seeing here so that means uh, as wave travels okay they set up the pattern of disturbance okay with respect to their mean position okay mean position that means if you would like to define mean position so whatever will be your x axis that will be your mean position okay with respect to a particular wave clear yeah so here you can see that it is defining a pattern okay that means up and down up and down onwards okay so here that you can see that the maximum displacement on either side okay yeah you can see that maximum displacement on either side either up or either down that is known as your amplitude yeah okay i'm waiting
सो दैट मीन्स आई वॉज एक्सप्लेनिंग एम्पलीट्यूड दैट बेटा सो एम्पलीट्यूड यू कैन ऑल्सो अंडरस्टैंड दैट इज डिफाइंड एज द मैक्सिम डिस्टर्बेंस फ्रॉम इट्स अनडिस्टर्ब पोजिशन ओके अनडिस्टर्ब पोजिशन दैट मीन्स आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट मीन पोजिशन बेटा ओके सो दैट मीन्स एम्पलीट्यूड या एम्पलीट्यूड दैट मीन्स द मैक्सिमम डिस्टर्बेंस फ्रॉम द मीन पोजिशन दैट इज नोन एज योर एम्पलीट्यूड ओके it is important it is important to understand that the amplitude is not the distance between the top and bottom no 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 top and bottom of the because the top and bottom that will be up and down okay but here that only either one side okay either up or either down that will be defined as your amplitude okay yeah the upper part okay the upper part of wave that is known as crust the lower part of wave that is known as trough okay and also regarding to upper and lower so that means wavelength that we can also understand over there so wavelength that means the distance between the two crust or two trough the distance between the two crust or two trough that is known as your wavelength okay or you can also understand yeah yeah you are seeing here that distance between the two crust or two trough so here distance between trough that they are explaining in your figure so you can also understand that the distance between two crust okay or you can or you can also understand that the distance between one crust and one trough that is also known as your wavelength clear or there are many definitions so one definition also that you can understand that means the wavelength of the wave is the distance between a point on the wave okay and the same point on the next wave okay yeah and there yeah so it is often easiest to measure this from the trough okay so trough as i explained that to you that means the bottom most point of the wave that is known as your trough okay crust that means the top most point okay so but it doesn't matter that uh, where that you measure it okay as long as that it would like to be with respect to same point okay for each wave okay next one is your frequency frequency that means the number of waves okay produced by the source per unit time or in each second okay the number of waves produced per unit time or in each second that is known as frequency understand yeah so or you can understand that the number of waves that pass a certain point each second okay or the number of waves that pass through a certain point per second per unit time that is known as frequency the unit of frequency that is your hertz okay as i unit that is your hertz yeah it's it can also be considered with respect to kilohertz megahertz gigahertz okay they are also the measurement of uh, measurement unit of frequency okay so that means yeah so how would you like to understand the difference between all these so here three points that we have to learn that most of people cannot hear a high pitch sound okay above 20 kilohertz okay that means audible range yeah human audible range that is from 20 hertz to 20000 hertz so 20000 hertz that is also known as 20 kilohertz beta okay <coughs> always remember that radio station okay radio station like fm radio okay or air india all that okay so radio station they broadcast radio waves okay that's a frequency that is about 100 megahertz okay understand so what does what does it mean what are radio waves radio waves that means the low frequency electromagnetic radiation okay the low frequency electromagnetic radiation used to transmit information such as television and radio programs okay understand 
that is your radio wave so next is that um, wireless so most wireless computer networks that operate also at the frequency of 2.4 gigahertz okay sometimes that if you, yeah sometimes that if you would like to see that uh, description of any particular uh, mobile phone or android phone so there you would like to see that it's a processor that is 2.4 gigahertz okay that means it would like yeah it would like to operate a wireless network okay up to 2.4 gigahertz clear secondly what is period what is period or maybe time period they are talking about period or time period that means the time taken to complete one oscillation or time taken to complete one wave to be produced okay yeah or you can also understand that it is defined as the time taken for one whole wave to pass through a point okay so period that is measured in seconds okay next one is your wave front beta so wave front so that uh, you can understand wave front that is the type of imaginary surface beta okay that we can draw to represent the vibrating part of the wave okay yeah so that means it is your imaginary surface which we would like to draw just to represent the vibrating part of wave okay if you would like to draw a semicircular sound waves spreading out from a speaker then the semicircular lines are known as wave front okay so whatever you are seeing that uh, yeah wave front that means uh, whenever that you or whatever that you would like to see that wi-fi signal okay you can see that it is just like as wi-fi signal so wave yeah wave front that is the type of imaginary surface beta okay that represents the vibration of a wave okay a vibrating part of a wave understand yeah and always remember that a loudspeaker that would like to produce a sound wave so next topic that uh, yeah next topic it will be uh yeah diffraction so diffraction as i told you before that here beta diffraction that means so when waves meet a gap in a barrier okay when waves meet a gap in a barrier they carry on through a gap okay how you are the waves is spread out to some extent into the area beyond the gap that is known as diffraction okay yeah means you simply understand that that means the when a wave would like to pass between the gaps between two barrier that is known as diffraction clear most important thing is that the extent of spreading that would like to depend on the width of the gap okay and also that compares to the wavelength of the waves okay yeah again i am repeating that beta that extent of the spreading is depends on how the width of a gap compares to the wavelength of the waves okay so most important thing that wavelength as i explained that to you that means the distance between uh, two crust or two trough or also that you can understand that the length of a single wave that means the length of crust and trough that is your wavelength okay understand significant diffraction here significant diffraction beta significant diffraction can only be happen when the wavelength is of same order of magnitude okay as the gap okay same order of magnitude magnitude that means the size of an object in comparison of other object of similar kind okay understand yeah magnitude that means the size of an object in comparison of other object of similar kind that is your magnitude beta so here that two things that you have to remember first one is that 
a gap much larger than the wavelength cause little spreading and a see a sharp shadow okay that is light through a doorway okay again i am repeating that means a gap much larger than the wavelength that causes little spreading okay and a sharp shadow that means when the light would like to pass through a doorway that is your this type of secondly a gap similar to the wavelength causes a lot of spreading with no sharp shadow that means you can uh, understand that the sound passing through the doorway okay yeah means a little spreading there will be that will be your light that passing through the doorway and large or no spread sorry um, no spreading okay or a large of is uh, a lot of spreading with no sharp uh, shadow that is your doorway okay that is your sound waves okay so diffraction can sometimes be seen in the waves through the sea when they would like to pass into the harbor opening okay as you are seeing that in your diagram here you can see that uh, the wavelength in this diagram that is represented as the distance between the blue vertical lines yeah you can see here so next one that means uh, yeah here that first condition that i told you that is diffraction through a wide gap okay you can see that when the gap will be wide then diffraction that would like to be a little bit less but in parallel okay but suppose that when diffraction that will be sharper or narrow okay so it would like to be just like as wave front okay yeah understand next is waves breaking in and harbor with curved wave front visible so here you can see that curved wave front which you are seeing that at sea shore okay now come to the next point beta next topic so next is your wave speed equation wave speed equation fundamentally that we know that speed of the wave that is related to its frequency and wavelength or you can understand that speed of wave that is directly proportional to the frequency and wavelength okay and defined by formula v equals to f lambda okay so here v is your v is your wave speed beta as usually speed you know that speed or velocity defined by symbol v f is your frequency that will be considered in hertz and lambda that is your wavelength considered in meter okay so from this formula that you can uh, you can uh, uh, convert that into three format v equals to f into lambda that i told you from this formula that you can also get the frequency that means frequency equals to uh, velocity upon wavelength or speed upon wavelength or you can also understand that wavelength equals to speed of light that means v upon frequency okay yeah so that means all waves including sound waves okay and electromagnetic waves they follow this equation okay yeah i mean suppose that any type of any type of radiation or any type of electromagnetic wave that will be there so this equation that will be followed over there okay it and you just have to remember that some particular waves have their own specific speed okay if you would like to see about um, uh, means uh, light waves okay so light waves or spectrum spectrum means basically that is spectrum i am talking about spectrum the spectrum that means uh, uh, it would like to be uh, do you know that how is spectrum form
बेटा स्पेक्ट्रम दैट मींस स्पेक्ट्रम दैट मींस व्हेन अ रे ऑफ लाइट विल पास या विल पास थ्रू अ प्रिज्म ओके स्पेक्ट्रम दैट मींस व्हेन द रे ऑफ लाइट पास थ्रू अ प्रिज्म देन इट वुड लाइक टू स्प्लिट्स टू इट्स कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट कलर ओके दैट इज नोन एज विबग्योर ओके दैट इज नोन एज विबग्योर वॉयलेट इंडिगो ब्लू ग्रीन येलो ऑरेंज रेड ओके so when this will be then that pattern is known as spectrum okay so in spectrum that you will be able to see that of a different wavelength color or different color of light over there having different wavelengths okay speed of light and all the electromagnetic spectrum in vacuum that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second okay the speed of sound in air that is 340 meter per second that's why that uh, when you would like to see any bomb or firecracker okay that would like to be 1 or 2 km uh, away from you if it would like to explode then you would like to see light firstly and then after 2 or 3 second that you will be able to uh, hear its explosive sound okay yeah that means boom sound that would like to come after 2 or 3 second but the light that would like to reach very quickly in your eyes okay so basically suppose that they are saying that few questions that would like to be asked to you with respect to this formula whatever that i explained that to you they are saying that what is the speed of wave that has the frequency 0.5 hertz and wavelength 3 meter so simply you have to apply your formula that uh, speed equals to frequency into wavelength so that means 0.5 times 3 so 5 3 is a 15 1. yeah 1.5 meter per second that will be your answer so here you can see that uh, yeah so i i am explaining here yes you can see that it's a solution <laughs> when you will apply your formula and you will plug in your value you will be able to get your answer next question they are asking that a sound wave has a frequency 10000 hertz and a wavelength that is 0.034 meter okay what is it is speed so as usual that pardon why you are saying why, why you are oh yes 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 frequency is given wavelength is given and then you have to do times yeah and then you will get your answer yeah 340 meter per second a radio wave has a frequency of 3 uh, yeah 3 million hertz and wavelength that is 100 meter so what will be speed again the same type of question is also over there beta now come to the fifth page over there so next topic that we have to understand that is your frequency and time period beta as i told you that frequency is defined as number of vibration per unit time is defined as frequency okay secondly so that means what Fre uh, frequency number of vibration per unit time or you can also define that frequency equals to 1 upon time period okay or time period that is defined as 1 upon frequency okay or you can also understand that frequency that is inversely proportional of time period or time period is inversely proportional of frequency clear yeah so f equals to 1 by t this formula that we will use to get your frequency if your time period that will be given to you okay so f frequency as i told you that number of waves produced per second or per unit time it's a unit that is hertz and time period that is the time taken to complete one oscillation so oscillation as i explained that to you beta oscillation that means vibration vibration that means the to and fro motion of particular object with respect to mean position is known as oscillation okay 
understand so basically that they are giving such a, such kind of a question that would like to come in your test or your teacher would like to ask you that a sound wave has a time period of 0.0001 second what is its frequency so you just have to reverse that and uh, that means 1 upon 0.0001 yes oh yes your answer is right next a radio wave that has the time period of oh my god it's a very big uh, digit in decimal oh yes they are saying that 0 0.00000 and uh, 3333333 yeah do you understand all, all that so basically that you the, basically that in this chapter that we had studied about the fundamental I think that it will it will be yeah it will be just uh, like as a speed of light uh, sorry frequency yeah yeah three million hertz yeah frequency they are asking yes so frequency that means it will be of three million understand okay so I hope you understand each and everything beta of this chapter so let's uh, see that what you understand because just I explained this one to you and there will be ten question which you would like to come in front of you and then you just have to give me answer of that the first one question is which of these cannot travel through vacuum yeah Do you understand your yeah? Do you understand your question? Yeah. So first question is that which of these cannot travel through vacuum? That is sound waves, microwaves, and radio waves. Okay, you are saying sound waves. Okay. So what do we call the height of a wave? Amplitude, frequency, or wavelength? Okay, that's great. You are seeing amplitude. The third question that is, what do we measure in hertz in sound wave? Yes, that's frequency because frequ hertz is a psi unit of frequency. What describes the spreading out a wave after it has passed through a gap? Yes, because that reflection, refraction, I didn't tell you in this topic. So, yeah, be, uh, and it is it is the best uh, definition that is written here. That means spreading out a wave after it has passed through a gap is known as diffraction. Okay. What size gap causes significant diffraction? That means they are saying that a gap that is sized similarly to the okay so you are seeing the first one what are the unit of frequency meter hertz or second okay yes it's hertz how do we calculate frequency of wave frequency equals to one one times time period Frequency equals to distance, yeah. Frequency equals to distance upon time period or frequency equals to 1 divided by time period. Or oh, equals to, yeah, 1 divided by time period, yes what is the period of wave 
periods of the wave that means uh, three options are given there the distance it takes to complete one oscillation the time it takes to complete one oscillation and the maximum distance they are saying what is period of the wave yeah yeah that's a better period that means they are talking about time so that means the time taken to complete one oscillation yes so which of these is not a type of electromagnetic radiation infrared okay light waves you are saying and next is uh, what is your wave speed equation speed equals to distance upon time speed equals to frequency divided by wavelength or frequency multiplied by wavelength okay speed multiplied by wavelength let's check your score so three two one not oops you got 80 percent but well done random testing you got 80 percent let's check that which question that you did wrong oh yes what is the period of wave no 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 wait are but you can see here i click over there no 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 you got 90 percent beta because you know that you know that period period i told you that the time yeah i think accidentally that i click on accidentally i click on the maximum disturbance from its up disturb point yeah that is not that because that i told you that there the period of the wave is the time taken to complete one oscillation that is your period wave yeah so basic yeah basically that here they are also asking that which of these is not a type of electromagnetic radiation you said that light waves so light waves that means sound waves are yeah sound waves are not the type of electromagnetic radiation yeah because they can they can travel in waves but not the same type of okay light waves light waves are the transverse wave okay and sound sound waves are longitudinal waves understand okay so i hope that you understand this one beta so within few hours that this class video that will be on air on my channel okay so you just have to revise that time after time as that you will be free okay